You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Mostly clear skies in Red Bluff today, and it is a lot warmer out there than it was at the start of the work week. Chief Meteorologist Jason Stiff back. Thank you, Jason, for returning to us. Yes. And with you, you brought some hot weather. Yeah, it was really comfortable the last several days. Had more clouds, kind of unusual for late July and early August, but we'll take it. It's nice to have a little bit of rain here and there, a few showers here and there also. We don't need those lightning strikes, but they do come with the territory when we have the thunderstorms. I'm going to show you a real quick time lapse here. Taking a little bit further look up to the north, you can see the clouds developing, some showers trying to get going, but for the most part, most of us are drier rather than wetter. We still have some more lightning strikes out there though with the thunderstorms continuing around northern parts of our state. Right now, Mount Shasta, because of the thunderstorms, it's only 75 degrees, 83 degrees in Alturas, but it's 103 after a high of 104 in Redding, 100 degrees right now in Chico, a hot 94 in Paradise and 102 degrees in Oroville compared to this time yesterday. Look how much warmer it is between 15 and 26 degrees just around the valley, but much more like yesterday around the north where we still had those showers and storms, but a lot hotter. You can feel the difference outside. Thankfully, not quite as humid, but we have a little bit more moisture in the air than we normally would in early August. The showers and storms are really getting going over Siskiyou County, parts of Trinity County, as well as Modoc County too. But once we lose that sun light later on this evening. The sun goes down. We're going to lose all the active weather. Tomorrow, there'll be just enough residual monsoonal moisture to give us another chance for some isolated showers and storms, but far fewer tomorrow afternoon than we had today or yesterday. Thursday, we're going to continue to go downward in the activity as far as the thunderstorms are concerned. Isolated showers and storms possible, but you'll notice looking at the next several days, we're still going to have the potential for the showers and storms over the higher terrain. The valley more than likely will be completely bone dry and hotter than average, especially tomorrow and Thursday. Then, as we get into this weekend and early next week, a Pacific trough will try to move on shore. It's moisture starred. We might have a couple clouds, but it's just going to do enough to cool us down a little bit. We may actually be a little bit below average by early next week, but in the meantime, we still still have more fire danger, even some flood potential. Red flag warning continues until 11 o'clock tonight for most of Modoc County and Siskiyou County. And then also right along with that, a flash flood watch for the McKinney fire and the Yeti complex burn scar areas right around here. We still have the potential for some locally heavy rainfall, so keep that in mind and seek higher ground if there are thunderstorms near any of our recent fire burn scars. Here's your forecast for tomorrow. Partly cloudy with isolated thunderstorms over Trinity and Siskiyou counties. Highs slightly hotter from 92 to 100 degrees. For northeastern parts of our state, we'll also have a slight chance for showers and storms, but not as numerous as today. Highs also upper 80s and lower to mid 90s. For the ridge, lows tonight in the mild 60s, even some warm lower to mid 70s. Highs slightly higher than today, upper 80s and lower to mid 90s. Also quite warm with a partly cloudy sky over the valley tonight. Lows in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Highs slightly hotter, 103 to 105. And for the Glen and Butte County areas, also lows averaging right around 70 degrees. Highs, 100 to 103 will peak on Thursday. Then we're going to slowly cool down by early next week, slightly below average in Chico with mid to upper 90s for the Redding area, still looking awfully hot. We peak on Thursday at 107, then drop down to 98.